The MP7 seems to be hitting a little bit harder than normal. I'm going to show you guys how not only is it hitting harder, but it's insane rate of fire and almost near perfect accuracy while hip firing make it the ultimate meta right now. going on everybody welcome back to the channel thank you so much for being here i really appreciate it be sure to check me over on facebook facebook.com forward slash real joseph Corey for all the live streams i am going to be testing it out in the future going live right here on youtube once again for some live streams a lot of people have asked me to bring it back so i'm going to do exactly just that and bring some of the live streams back here to youtube the meta guns in call of duty are constantly changing and it seems that because Warzone 2 is coming, and Modern Warfare 2 that is, the Modern Warfare guns seem to be meta at this point in time. So the MP7 seems to be hitting a little bit harder than normal. I'm gonna show you guys how not only is it hitting harder, but it's insane rate of fire and almost near perfect accuracy while hip firing make it the ultimate meta right now. Let's dive right into it guys, be sure to subscribe. Tap that bell so you know when I go live. Check me over on TikTok and Twitter. Real Joseph Corey. Let's get right into it right now. Let me show you guys exactly how I've set this gun up. All right, guys, here is my loadout, and I'll show you the MP7, and I'm gonna do a video on my growl loadout as well. It's kind of OP, everybody kind of knows what's going on with the growl. Now, I'll tell you, this is really the meta loadout in Warzone. It's pretty much the second or third best class you can use, uh, according to everybody. To me, I feel like this is the meta. Maybe not the most damage, but the big thing to consider here is that the MP7 has a blistering fast fire rate that is almost impeccably accurate even while hip firing. It's a lot easier to land shots and considering that's easier and the fire rate is faster with a 60 round mag, you're gonna be getting the faster fire rate, more bullets are gonna land because it's more accurate, which completely makes up for damage. DPS, time to kill goes up. So if you're landing all your shots, you're putting people down and this gun can do it and another thing that i want to add about the mp7 is clearly that this gun has got a much better mobility than the armaguera or the blixen in order to make the blixen as mobile as the mp7 you're going to be losing accuracy hip fire a lot of hip fire as well as damage same thing goes for the marco and the armaguera this gun just handles better. It's just significantly faster, faster rate of fire and handling, better accuracy, and a ton more hip fire accuracy. Really, the only downside to the gun is less damage, but it's made up for by everything else, making it a masterpiece to use right now. So let's go over and look at the specs, show you guys exactly what I'm running. There's two ways to run this gun. This is option one. This is extremely fast and it's gonna handle quickly your sprint speed, your sprint to fire speed, all of that is gonna be very, very quick. We start off with monolithic suppressor. You're gonna lose some ADS speed and aim walking steadiness. Who cares? You're gonna make up for it everywhere else and this gun handles very well anyway. The reason why I didn't go with a lightweight suppressor is because of the fact that you lose damage range. Look at that, we're losing a decent amount of range and some accuracy. The monolithic, we get sound suppression and damage range. We only lose aim down sight speed and aim walking steadiness. Steadiness, not a big deal because you're gonna be hip firing with this gun a lot of the time anyway. The ADS speed is the only thing you're really losing here but we're making up for it later. Five milliwatt laser, it's a no-brainer, hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed, making this gun very quick and agile. No stock, more movement speed and more ADS speed. Aiming stability, not a big deal since you're mostly hip firing anyway. And even while you're aiming down sights, it's not really that noticeable. Recoil control, not that much considering this gun already has almost no recoil as it is. So it really doesn't affect it very much. 60 round mags, you're losing ADS speed, movement speed. We've made up for that with the five milliwatt laser. 
as well as the removed stock. And then the stippled grip tape is also more ADS and more sprint to fire speed. So we've made up for the monolithic as well as the 60 round mags. Now the secondary way to set this up would be to use a different stock. And I really don't think using any of these stocks makes any sense unless you're using no stock. By removing the no stock, you can see we lose some mobility. See, that's really the game. We're getting some good mobility, but we're losing accuracy, range, and control. But it's still a good setup. By removing that, it allows us to use the Merc 4 grip, which in turn increases control, a lot of accuracy, as well as better hip fire accuracy and range. So at the end of the day, the only thing we're really losing by using this instead of the remove stock is mobility. Sprinting speed and sprint to fire speed is going to be a little bit reduced, but hip fire accuracy, range, and control is going to go up significantly. So it's going to depend on how you want to use the gun. If you want to be blazing fast and moving around corners like crazy, remove the stock. If you're not quite as fast of a player or you're just more concerned with accuracy, use the Merc 4 grip. It is going to give you much better control. But those are the two ways to set up this gun. Wow. Who shot you? Up, I only have one. Soon. Down him. Guy on the roof is down. Okay. Got a guy below you. And I'm down and I'm dead. Nice. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I need plates to get guys on me. Hope someone saw me. Cracked them both. They're both cracked. Stay there. Got them both. Oh, we got go on the side. three guys. I think they're rude. One of your allies is back in the game. Oh, right here. here. Behind. Gene behind. Partner down. Partner down. I'm armoring up. Bye. Oh, he's on me, on me, on me. GG, let's go back this way. I wonder if yeah. we can make it this way. You got gas mask, go okay. gas. Run that shit as hard as you can. Allied UAV overhead. I got gas mask. That's a kick. Got him? Oh shit! Got him? I'm arming up! Fuck! Right here in front of us! Shit! Yeah. Woo! Come in, don't, don't engage, don't I engage! He's already cracked him, he's already cracked. You're up top by yourself, come to the middle level. Come to the middle level, you've been told twice. Three times, come to the middle level. Four times, come to the middle level. Oh, they spotted us going downstairs in the basement. Team white. Yeah, okay, we're still in the circle. Whoa. What's up, bro? What's up? What's poppin'? It's the wall, the wall, down here, down here. I cracked one. No, you did Holy not. Shit. I need Relocating the safe Nice! One on one. Nice! You're an animal. The movement was animalistic. <laughs> if you're not hacking, Genie, that was animal. That was beast. <laughs> that was animal movement. That, that was you were moving like a panther. This is the biggest compliment I can ever give somebody in Warzone. It's, it's, it's... The ability to move like a panther, and that was the definition of moving like a panther. I gotta armor up, I gotta armor up. Behind me, behind, behind, behind. Let's go! Let's go! Thank you. Right here, oh, behind! 
What? Why did it take so long to switch up? Destroy yourself. Okay.